Hello everyone, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Assassin's Creed. In the last episode, um, we were introduced to the game, we did the tutorial, and we made it back here, after leaving the Temple of Solomon. So, in this episode, we're gonna head to the Assassin's Bureau and, uh, go see the Master. So, let's go. Alright, so... Try not to cause any trouble while you're on your way there. You could still provoke guards and whatever. I should probably switch it back to my fist. Do do jogging jog. I'm going the wrong way actually. Jogging jogging. I'm gonna hop over this thing. Excuse me, sir, or ma'am, I couldn't tell. Excuse me, guards. Excuse me, ma'am. As we make our way to the bureau. Did your brother's check come in? Um, I don't know. Like, I wasn't here. I went to Grandma's, remember? Oh. Here we are. We made it to the Assassin's Bureau. The headquarters. We're at the fortress, so let's go. Again, try not to provoke anyone. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Yes, hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word now put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for <laughs> good that threat. later. Good threat. It's a good threat. Brother. I like how this is like an assassin's headquarters, and I just like how there's random citizens coming in not knowing better about this place maybe they do know about the assassins yeah weapon restriction and so on and so forth the master waits within hold on people give me a minute hang on wait one second there I don't know if that'll affect the video or anything, but I was slightly uh, desync, slightly desynced, as I'll put it. All right, so let's go talk to the master. Altair, master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? 
I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here, take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. <coughs> Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. All right. Forwarding memory to a more recent one. We're gonna get into some combat. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. All right, here we go. We're gonna get to some combat done. Oh yeah, weapons. Hidden blade, you don't use that as a combat weapon. It's only for assassination. Fist? You can use your fist, but it's not recommended. Throw knives, that's only if you want to throw at a distance. It's actually technically using your dagger, too. And then your sword, which is what you mainly want to use for combat. Yeah, you can use this dagger, but I personally prefer using the sword, so uh, let's go. Oh, 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 wait, 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 I'm not locked on to him. Alright, there we go. First kill. And if it's one thing I'm good at in this game, it's countering. I'm the... I'm the master when it comes to countering. I will make you bleed! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I forgot to say this actually. If this game is rated M, so if you can't handle it, just don't watch this let's play then. Oh, ooh, didn't mean to hurt that person. There. Sometimes when you kill uh, guards, if you're fighting a group of guards and you kill one of them, they will get temporarily distracted by you killing them, so. Oh, oh, out of my way, everyone. You know, stabbing with your sword isn't really a recommended thing from what I've heard. Hey, wait, there's another one. Oh. Well, it's sometimes good to stab with your sword, but not all the time. On my way. Coming through. More people to kill. Heathen, you'll die for that. You can't get away from me. Oh. I'll admit, I may be good at countering, but the only time I'm not good at countering is when my is when the enemies use their heavy attacks, because it throws me off a bit, just seeing them move very slow, when I'm used to seeing them move fast. Oh yeah, so to regain your health, 
you either just wait or you do actions like killing, for instance. I think. Might want to turn around and we'll run away. <sighs> All right, we're safe in here. Come. Al Muelim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. All right. I love this part of the game. Well, well, I like this part for a reason actually. So hang on. from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stars are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! The Leap of Faith, one of my favorite moves to perform in the game. We will go to God! I, uh, oh, oh, my leg! Oh, oh, my um, leg! Um, I think you missed your hail, your hay bell, buddy, by a few inches. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Alright, so we just gotta cross these uh, beams. You won't really fall off these beams, except for later in the game. Right now, you know, it's just one of those instances where you can't fall off. Alright, so... Yes, I know how to climb. I've already climbed before several times. Yeah, yeah, alright, uh, let's climb. We're climbing Uncharted style. Well, I mentioned it. I forgot to say back in episode one, I think it was? Yeah, back in episode one, I forgot to say that uh, Mr. Desmond Miles is voiced by Nolan North. And I know Nolan North in another game that he's known for. Maybe I'll let's play that in the future someday. Okay, now we're up here. Now we just hit this. <laughs> One of the bodies went flying. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. 
three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> Um, well, uh, that's it, everyone. End of Let's Play. Altier dies, and we get nowhere in the game. The end. He's experiencing a far <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'm joking. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Alright, so now we're Desmond. We have a chance to walk around and everything. We can't follow them, obviously, so we're going to have to find another way. Doesn't sound good. Alright. So, Desmond, or should I say Nolan North? Oh my god, that's really ugly close up, I'll call it. What's with the scar on your lips? I've act I'm actually just noticing that. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Okay. To our room. And they locked the door on us. Oh yeah, actually, hang on, hang on. This is something funny I like to do. 
Man, I can't even change my clothes. <laughs> I think there is a way to, like, um, change Desmond's outfit. But for now, let's rest. That's the position I refer to as an intent analyst. Huh? With the interactions. The following morning. So, Gotta say, that's time bucks an hour, dog. but I have an Waking opportunity up, for over bonuses. Me. You've been watching me sleep? So, We're all watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get the kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean all this? So, I got three days of training. Did you go far enough? To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time. I got to do training yes. on There's no September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Systemic intervention. The first two days are from 8 in the evening until 1 p.m. And then Thursday is from 8 to 2. But it's not easy. And it doesn't always take. So Let it's 8 to 1 p.m. You've got a so best. that's in the morning. Yeah. What is it? And then 8 to 2 Now on that would be telling. Thursday. But... I <sighs> Uh, my will be wow, Doc, all now. that speech about good and evil After and whatever. Wow, nice speech, Doc. So have you, you have uh, you've read, you know, Please good you beyond good, TV. beyond good and evil by any chance, Doc? That's Friday, from <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Let's uh, get me Animus. And I think well, this I will do for this episode of Assassin's Creed, video. so... Join me next time as we load the latest memory. You don't do any speaking at all. You just I will see you guys next time. You're here.